Chips on the Grill, sponsored by Food City. Low heat, sweet smoke, good meat equals great eats. I'm Chip at Food City for Chips on the Grill, and ordinarily we do this stuff over a Primo grill. However, with crazy March weather, maybe you don't want to take the chance on having to do it at home. So we came to the pros here at Food City. We caught up with pitmaster Marcus Olinger at the Food City here in St. Elmo. Marcus, this is quite a barbecue wagon you've got. Yes, sir. It is a very great one. Tell me about it. This is a gas-powered, wood-burning uh, smoker. Right. Pit smoker. It'll hold quite a bit of meat. Yes, sir, it will. You've got propane burners that are actually catching the wood on fire. Right. And then you've got fans that are pulling sure. that wood smoke over smoke into the... and heat in, into the cook chamber. Let's take a look inside and we'll yes, show sir. you what we mean. And you can adjust the temperature on this. Right now, you've got it cruising at about what? Uh, right at about, about 240. All right, let's take a look at what we've got All inside. Right. Wow. Just about everything you can find in the Food City meat department you've got right here on the grill. And this is a beautiful rotisserie style of grill. And how much are you going to go through this weekend, do you think? We're hoping to go through about 200 pounds of ribs, about 70 slabs of ribs. Um, 300 pounds of brisket? About 300 pounds of brisket and about four or 500 pounds of uh, pulled pork. All right, let's take one of these racks of ribs off and have a look at it. It's not quite ready to eat yet, but it's pretty darn close. How do you tell when these things are ready? When these are ready, they'll crack with ease. Crack with ease, all right. I'm almost convinced this is just about ready. But maybe we should take it over and cut it and see. A nice crust on the brisket. Looks like something I would try to do myself at home. Cut her open. Let's see what we got. Absolutely, sir. And that's not really called a crust properly. It's called the bark, bark on the brisket. But I'll tell you what, I can look at that and tell you that is good. All right, Pitmaster Marcus got the knife all sharp. Let's see what's in this beautiful prime rib. Yes, sir. Holy cow. Literally. <laughs> Holy cow. Yes, this sir. thing looks incredible. You tell me. Oh, yeah. That is done to perfection. Now, again, Pitmaster Marcus and the Food City soon to be famous barbecue smoke wagon on the road all over the Tennessee Valley area each and every weekend starting at the Food City in Red Bank on Dayton Boulevard next, next weekend. weekend. Come on by and get you some of this. That's it for this edition of Chips on the Grill. For Food City, I'm Chip. He's Marcus. Find out more about the Q Wagon at foodcity.com. Chips on the Grill, sponsored by Food City.